do a lesson on geometric solids. Now this is a lot of solids that we have in our classroom. So usually we only learn three or four or five at a time, but today I'm going to go over all the names and a little bit about each one. Are you ready? Okay. Solids are an object that has weight and shape to it. It's not a square on a piece of paper. It's an actual object that you can hold. And this geometric solid is called a cube. Can you say cube? Cube. Now let's look at a cube. Does it roll very well? Kind of just thumps on its side. It has six squares squares that make up the whole cube. It's not round. It has points and sides, and it's made up of six squares. Cube. This is a square-based prism, and we have these in our classroom, and they look like stairs, don't they? Now this prism cannot roll either. It just thumps on its side. It has one, two squares, and one, two, three, four rectangle sides. So six sides, but two squares and four rectangles make up a prism. Can you say prism? This is a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? Cylinder. Cylinder is the shape of a can or maybe something that you use when you're rolling out dough, like a rolling pin. That's a cylinder. Cylinders roll when they're on their curved side but they don't roll when they're on their circle top and circle bottom. They don't roll. Two circles make up a cylinder and a curved side goes all the way around. Cylinder. This is our favorite, isn't it? This is a cone. A cone has one circle on the base and one point on the top, like a party hat. A cone can roll, but watch what happens. It rolls in a circle. The point stays in the center and the outside rolls around. The cone can roll, but not from side to side. Cone. This is a triangle-based prism. It's similar, but one is a square and one is a triangle. Square-based prism, triangle-based prism. The triangle-based prism has one, two triangles and one, two, three rectangles. It doesn't really roll. If you push it, it does not even flop. It's pretty sturdy. Triangle-based prism. Next is a pyramid. This pyramid has a square base. Square-based pyramid sits on the base that is a square. It has four triangles on each side and a point just like the cone on top. Square-based pyramid doesn't roll too much. It stays where you put it. Square-based pyramid. Just like the square-based pyramid, a triangle-based pyramid also has a base, but it's a triangle, 
and a point on top. It has three triangle sides. Now we have a round object. This one will definitely roll. Do you remember the name? Sphere. Will you say that with me? Sphere. Sphere is a tricky word to say. But what's another word that we use for this shape? Ball or bead. Usually this is the shape of a ball or a bead, but the scientific name is sphere. Next is an ellipsoid. Can you say that with me? Ellipsoid. Ellipsoid is curved as well, but one side and the other side gets smaller. It's longer than the sphere, isn't it? Some say it looks like an egg, but the tricky part is this side and this side are the same size. I have a shape that looks a little bit more like an egg. This is an ellipsoid. Here is the egg shape. This is called an ovoid. Can you say that with me? Ovoid. The ovoid has a pointy round side and a thick round side. See how they're not equal? The ellipsoid has equal ends. The ovoid does not. O ovoid stands up on its own like an egg. It won't be able to stand up on its top. It falls. Ovoid is the same as an egg. There are all of our geometric solids. If you want to make your own, you can at home. Thanks for having a lesson with me. See you next time.